Let's roll, my friend. I mean, listen, you already know the news. We've already mentioned it enough times. Let's delve into this, boys. Sam Darnold is the starting quarterback this week for the Carolina Panthers. What do you think went into this decision? And how do you feel about Sam Darnold being the guy to get the nod? I actually want to go first here in that. Oh, oh. I, I, like, it's a stupid what, question in my what, opinion. What, what could you possibly expect from Sam Darnold at this point in time? I mean, that shows you how bad Baker Mayfield has been. That a guy who has not played a snap of NFL football it, since last season is the better bet in the eyes of Steve Wilkes and obviously our coaches to help this Carolina Panthers team win this Sunday. That in and of itself is a testament to how bad Baker Mayfield is, man. And I'm not going to lie, the worst Baker Mayfield has been, I didn't want this man to, you know, to fail. I mean, I want the the Panthers to succeed always, all the time. But the fact that Baker Mayfield is so incredibly inconsistent from behind the pocket, he is never able to see the open receiver. DJ Moore is invisible in an offense where Baker Mayfield is under center. Like, to me, it shows you how desperate this organization is in the midst of this quarterback carousel that we have no choice but to depend on Sam Darnold in this moment rather than go for the guy that we traded for, yeah. the guy that we literally traded for at the start of this year to come in and make us a Carolina Panther competent football team. We chose him over Jimmy Garoppolo over any other veterans that we could have had out there. This is embarrassing. And honestly, I think this is the death knell for Baker Mayfield ever being a starter in the NFL ever again. You go back to being a two-bit nothing, but don't you ever come back here again because I'm too old to waste my time trying to train a no-good loser like you. You bum, Those guys are a bunch of bums. Bums. They're a bunch of bums. And look, this is a dumb question, Cody. What could Sammy D do for us? What could he not at this point? I'm telling you this. You could pick up a dude off the street at this point. It would be a better fit for the Carolina Panthers than Baker Mayfield, who has turned out to be horrendous. Far worse, like CK has said, the worst hater of Baker Mayfield didn't even hate this much. We wanted Baker Mayfield to work simply because it happened, because he came to us. If you go back and check the stupid receipts, which I hate when people say that and stuff like that, but if you go back, is none of us wanted to trade for Baker Mayfield, like as desired, but we did think it gave us a potential to be a better team. Sure. Boy, was I wrong. On that, and I was more wrong on this take. Here's my the take I got it completely wrong on is I have shit on Jimmy G. And I said, man, is that I think Baker is a better player than Jimmy G. I think Jimmy G benefited from the system, this and that. Jimmy G's in a fucking different stratosphere than Baker Mayfield at this point. Baker Mayfield has been so horrifically bad. It's been weird. It's been crazy how we destroy this and i'll tell you this cody is i wanted to go into this season and i hate to go and be like oh this is what i wanted to do i was telling ck this before the show but i gotta say it when we did the draft show last year when we picked jc horn go and watch it we were sitting there who was it was it me and someone else on this show crossing our fingers it was one of my friends it might have been jay cry i don't think it was jay or somebody and we were sitting there fields 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 jc horn and i thought even though people go oh you traded for darnold you traded for darnold you're not going to get feel i thought it would have been perfect anyway is that you cut ties with teddy bridgewater which you should have kept and had him mentor the qb for a year but who cares? You bring Sammy Darnold in, Sammy D into a terrible situation. Sure. You let him look terrible. You let Justin Fields sit for a whole year. Then you let him start this year. 
And we didn't do that. And I tell you this, Sam Darnold, we said he sucked and he did. He was terrible. But this whole team was terrible last year. And to be honest, there are people out there and they might not be entirely wrong to say, have we really gotten a fair evaluation of Sam Darnold at any point in his career? And not that this is going to be the fair evaluation at this point, because like you said, he hasn't had a snap. He hasn't done anything. The team sure. isn't good. He's going to look better than Sam, uh, Tim Baker Mayfield. I promise you that his worst game last year was no worse than Baker's worst game this year. Sorry. Like I think Sam Darnold became a kicking bag and deservedly in some cases, but just kind of like, he's just the right now. He could be a fucking savior and not a savior as in saving our team. He's going to go out there and look like a damn star in compared to these you go back to being bums. A two bit nothing. That's what he told Baker Mayfield. Don't you ever come back here again, again, here again I'm Baker. Too old to waste my time. Trying to train a no good loser like you, you bums. Bums. Those guys are a bunch of bums. All right, that's my take on it. Uh, yeah, I mean it's it, it's sad. And how about this? If okay, Baker Mayfield, once upon a time, number one pick in the draft, right? Sam we've got Darnold. every number. We've got. We should just go get Josh Rosen right now to make it a Baker's dozen of. Oh uh, uh, yeah, I call that the basic ass white boy trifecta. <laughs> Josh Rosen, Sam Darnold, and Baker Mayfield stinking up the joint, man. And then how about this? Steve Wilkes can then say that he coached all of them. Uh, it's embarrassing. Oh, and, 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 how, and, and, and how about this, man? Uh, you know, if if PJ Walker was healthy. Is there any doubt in any of our minds that PJ Walker would be unanimously named the starter this week? Like, no, I don't think so. I think Sam Darnold Darnold. could still be. We had Joe Person on the show, and that was one. I think this was destined to happen at some point. PJ Walker was not playing great. This was destined to happen, uh, happen, and it's almost to the point where it was like, why didn't that happen some point last week? CK, yeah. your thoughts on it. I'm going to look up Baker's stats because someone in the chat said uh, Sam Darnold is not um, – he's not – he's an inaccurate – I put Baker Darnold. Look, this is – they're the same. The, 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 like you said, basic. Um, it, I'm telling you, he was uh, – oh, God. They have the exact – is this possible? No, I just looked up the same person twice, Baker Mayfield. Uh, <laughs> Baker Mayfield has not been accurate, though, this year for us. Sure. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think if you, if you, I, I, again, I, I've been saying it. I'm not, I am not this guy who's going to sit there and, and sugarcoat the situation, right? Um, Sam Darnold did not look good last year, but Baker Mayfield has looked far worse than what Sam Darnold looked like last year, with worse. a worse situation. Yeah, like Sam Darnold was in a much worse situation last year. Um, I don't care what you say. You put Baker Mayfield in the offense that we had last year. It, it, I don't know how much you, how much worse you can get when you have a top ten offensive line as far as pass protection it, go, it goes, and and he's b- been as bad as he looked. Again, I'm not putting everything on this last week on him, but he is not a person that elevated us. Like he at is not, any point this season, yeah, it, it, at it, any it, point, he, and he's had opportunity after opportunity. This has not been us just getting quick on the draw upset with Baker. Well, here's the thing that I think, um, you know, I'm concerned about the fact that at the beginning of the, the, the preseason, one of the things that we saw was Baker Mayfield taking Matt Corral under his wing. Um, if I'm looking at it from that perspective, I don't want to see Matt Corral on this field at all. If Baker has had any chance of spoiling that guy, you know what I mean? That's I don't want him taking, I don't want him taking any advice from stuff. Baker Mayfield at this point. Him. Uh, you know, I think this is, I think Baker is actually well, to, made to, to some... To be fair, she can, I, could, I could say I don't want, uh, what's his name, uh, Cam Irving, giving advice to Kim and Kwanu, and apparently he's taking the Kim and Kwanu under his wings. So. Let me tell you one thing, <laughs> is as this this cuts hard, uh, this diss, my friend told me, and he was, he, I, you know what I do for a living, right? Um, 
he said this once is those who can't do teach boy it oh. cuts hard at the soul it cuts hard and it actually if you kind of look around is that uh that's why some people have doubted the ability of player coaches a lot is because um they've never been good at explaining or helping other players get better because they're just they just go out and do they just do you know those who can't do teach so maybe all of these guys will be great quarterback coaches one day and terrible quarterbacks i hey your dude that you want to be the coach of the carolina panthers ken dorsey was a fucking horrendous quarterback outside of one year at what miami or florida state or wherever the hell he was florida he's terrible he was terrible all those guys those who can't do teach so maybe we need to keep baker and sam darnold and make them be personal mentors of matt corral because they can't do and really the question is how many snaps here cody right now uh the big deal about this is baker mayfield it's not surprised that he's replaced because of performance one of the reasons we thought that they went with pj walker at one point was because of potential trade ramifications and it looks like we're at the precipice of that actually mattering yeah, and you guys are going to have to correct me if I get this wrong here. But basically, uh, he he needed uh, 690 snaps to get to 70%. And that's when we would have to pay him. Uh, or, no, that's when we would get back a draft pick, right? Like, it, it, it no. goes down to compensation. It was like a money thing, right? The way it happens is if he plays over 70, I think it's 70. It's either 60 yeah. or 70, but this one says 70. Uh, 70% makes it a fourth round pick under 70% makes it a fifth round pick that we oh, owe okay. them. Mm. So we but might we have get one. a fourth rounder out of this. No, we, uh, we have to, instead of giving up a fourth rounder, we give up a fifth to the Browns. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, I know at this point it feels like they should give us something for giving us Baker. Yeah. <laughs> I understand that, but it that's really not how it works. Does, dude. It really it's not does. how it works. Is that we already he already took a pay cut. They put picked up some of the pay. We made this deal, which was not as rich as the damn Darnold deal. Thank Jesus. I'm just really surprised, guys. I thought the law of averages at some point Baker would just be a little bit better than he was at some point, even if it was a a fraudulent be better, just mm -hmm. for a game, just for a moment. But there is no point at this season we have looked at Baker Mayfield and gone, man, this guy's got some juice in him. This guy can be a playmaker. Those people that love Baker Mayfield in Cleveland, whatever they saw, we have not gotten a single glimpse. We got an imposter. We got an imposter. We've also gotten a couple of super chats, Cody. Uh, not only this, I do want to remind everybody by week, charity fundraising drive for us first time first of many that we will be doing hopefully where we're going to partner and support a panther players foundation specifically because we're a panthers podcast this year it is the bradley and nikki bozeman foundation we've already got the link up and live ready for you guys to donate and help kids get fed and strengthen community bonds even with local police which is great we need to strengthen community and this fits right in with C3's mission. You can check the link. It's pinned up there. We will be donating. Our patron saint is going to be matching donations up to a $250. So go ahead and do that before we put our money in, or else it's just us giving his money the whole time. <laughs> and, yeah, man. Uh, so we, we, we really want to, want, to, want to show out and do something good uh, for charity. You know, we're in a great position. We've grown the C3 fan base so much now that we feel like we're at a point to do this. So, hey, C3 family, show some love in that link that uh, my man Tony has penned up. And uh, and that will really be something great that we as a C3 Panther fan base can say that we did together, man. And that's going to feel incredible. And it's for a fantastic cause, too. Uh, first up, donation from your love illegitimate you, son, son like. uh, White Chocolate Espresso. He says, the circle is now complete. The circle of Panther quarterback life is in the complete. Then we got uh, a $5 love bomb from 19E. 
HF. This is a further indictment on Matt Rule and the front office. They effed up so bad at evaluating quarterbacks. They're as bad as the Colts quarterback situation. It's almost Crazy. worse. In some ways, it's worse. Is that but they're paying you... so much? The Colts. Yeah, I mean, monetarily, they did get fleeced. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Actually, is you know, I'll <laughs> kind of take this. Um. All right. Um. Speaking of Matt Rule, is he up next? What What do we got up next, Cody? Uh. Yeah. So I finished just to uh, to finish rounding out. Oh, this is our great. our Baker. Baker Mayfield discussion and, and listen and Kim, before we play this I want to guys temper 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 this com this position with is Steve Smith let's just put a little context into Steve Smith as a commentator and his relationship with the Carolina Panthers number one he's always been Steve Smith he tries to he keeps it like 100 for his personality even on the NFL network there is that kind right. of sort of edge and honesty to him and authenticity Steve Smith and the relationship with the Panthers was poor after the way they parted ways with Dave Gettleman. There has been, uh, since they added him to the ring of honor, David Tepper came in, they have patched up that relationship to a degree. Uh, and one of the things that they did is they added him to the preseason uh, play calling team uh, going in because he wasn't going to be busy with the NFL network at that point. And, uh, you know, Steve Smith, I think, really appreciated this opportunity because he sees himself as really having a gig in not only the media, but entering broadcasting as well as a color commentator. He sees that, I think, as his as a future niche. He has, in the aftermath of all of that, become remarkably po pro Panthers. Right. I mean, he's like my team, this he gets behind and. He was against Baker before it happened, but when Baker came to Carolina, he threw his support behind Baker Mayfield. Yeah, He said this, kind of like CK and I have been, is like we didn't really love the idea of it from the beginning, right. but this is what it is, and let's go see what it can happen. Now he's seen what's happened, Cody, and this is what he thinks of it. And uh, as Steve Smith does, Pulls absolutely no punches. Steve Smith on the Kyle Bailey show. Critical of Baker that I noticed that he did in Cleveland. Now he did it yesterday. Is he talked about I when he said it sucked and what he's how he's prepared. But yet in a football game when I asked him about execution, he said we need to execute better. Well, I don't want to be Captain Petty, right? But there were times where I I have the all twenty two and I look back. And he's looking at one side of the field. And there is Shai Smith running a, a under route, a zone route, a flare, a, you know, whether Z, Y, X, drive. And he's looking to the right and never looks at the next progression. And so there's a few times where he did not throw the football. So why is he saying I when he prepares, but in a lack of execution, he's saying we didn't execute. I, I'm trying to like, calm myself down but listen this three-legged this three-legged donkey that's playing quarterback role it's tough let me tell you it's tough to watch especially when the other team got a four-legged <laughs> dude uh I, got a four-legged thoroughbred watching him bread. it is no possible way any team that's a free agent that's looking for a mm -hmm. foundational quarterback mm -hmm. should sign baker mayfield so there you have it, Steve Smith pulling no punch. And I, listen, this is how Steve Smith has always felt about Baker Mayfield. You're right, Tony. He did the fan thing. He did the good, the Panthers guy thing and gave him a vote of confidence. He said he was going to start feeling dangerous. And, and, you know, that that never happened. But this is how Steve Smith has always felt. And this week it was a big headline that Zach Wilson uh, in his uh, press conference after their game, they failed to put up 100 yards of offense, did the Jets. And uh, basically, uh, they he was asked, like, did they have to be more beholden? Did they have to be better? Or uh, did your performance Did you let the defense offense, down is what they Yeah, asked. did you let the defense down? And Zach Wilson flat out said no. And he got a lot of crap for this he week. Should. From a lot of – right. So, and I, I feel like, you know, Baker is doing the same thing. But in a very 
in a much more low tone kind sure, of a way. Sure, sure. Yeah, he, no, you're right. he's saying, yeah, we need to do better. And earlier on the season when he wasn't connecting with DJ Moore, he also said, oh, but it's, we have to get on the same, I mean, the same page. Guys have to get separation. It's never about Baker Mayfield being the problem. Right. There, there, there's the problem is always coming from somewhere else. And look, boys, we hated this when Teddy Bridgewater did it. We hated yeah. this yeah. when Matt Rule, and we're going to talk about him later, still making excuses. It seems like, oh, but whenever, oh, whenever, 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 make excuses for you being the one that was a detriment to your football team, dude. I ain't got time for that shit, man. It does. Like Two if points. if you're the leader of the team, you know the de facto leader as the quarterback, then you should have enough wherewithal to be able to say, "Yeah, I have to play better. I have to play better." And he doesn't do that. Steve, he makes a great point there, man. And I, I really think this has been a flaw that has been rearing its head with Baker Mayfield for a long time. I think you look. You you made. I'm not disagreeing with you by any means. I just kind of want to add a little to it. It's not even. It's just like, can we not just be one note maybe entirely? I think sometimes we get pro, we're, we're programmed and we should be as in a team sport to say we, 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 we. Even in times of good stuff, right, is like you say, we executed. You want quarterbacks to come out there and say, look, the, I, this is because of the offensive line. This is because DJ made plays we went out there and won this game. So you're not like, oh, I went out there right. and, you know, killed that. So I don't want to over meticulous or like be over nitpick between I and we in these statements that are still calling for improvement. You know, it's not like just denying that there isn't a need for improvement. But this is one of the things that I defended Cam Newton so um, adamantly about. And that is uh, he never did anything like this. Anytime Cam had a bad game, anytime at all, Truth. or the Panthers had a bad game, he came out there and said, I, this is on me. I, even if it wasn't true, he didn't ever do this. And so that's the thing is that, so I, I guess just want to clap about Cam for a second. And I miss the days when I had a quarterback that I believed in. And uh, you're right. It is a low key. Like at this point, you just got to say, I have stunk this year. But maybe he can't say it too adamantly because there is a monetary connection to that. If he comes out and, and he says it and that's the quote that it's people real. take. Yes, it is real. And that hurts the money line. It might be hurting no matter what. I mean, CK, don't you think, like, I mean, I really don't see what could happen. Like, okay, Baker had right. his opportunity. And how about this? It, it, when you compare Baker Mayfield, Sam Darnold, from, especially from those first three games at the start of last year, Baker Mayfield has not had a performance that has come close to anything that P.J. Walker has done or anything that, uh, that Sam Darnold right. has done. So, man, he has no one to blame but himself. I, I mean, look, I've never really – the dude, I think you all know that about me by now. Um, Sam, it, it's just whatever at this point. Uh, the, the Panthers do not have a quarterback, and we're not going to for the rest of the year. Well, he's a bu these guys are bums. Uh, they're all bums, and 